I'm getting ready for card class. Stick around and see all the wonderful goodies I have to present to my friends at church. Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel. I, I am getting ready to do an in-person card class at my church. And we wanted to start off with Halloween cards. So I'm going to show you all the different pieces I have, leftovers and new things. So let's start with the new things. I've got my Halloween 6x6 paper pads that I bought from Echo Park. And did I? Yes. Okay. I opened this one. All oh, the fun, fun patterns. I have two of those. And then this is a die that I used last year from Amazon. And it's got several different things and it fits just perfectly in the die cut machine. And here is my pack, uh, my, my storage container from last year, leftovers. I've got several of these witches cut out. I did some paper piecing here. cute. I just a little bitty oval on the back and there we go. So we're gonna have fun with that. And these are two of my cards from last year. And then here's a uh, an older set stamp set. Here's another card. Whoops. Looks like uh, my little ghost fell off. Here's some paper. Here's a cut apart that I went ahead and matted. Here's some black sparkly paper that I made spiders out of. Some more paper, black paper. And here's some designer series paper, the pattern paper. This is nice and, and soft and silky. This cute. Bought this on Amazon. These are fun. We fussy cut these out. And this this is from Echo Park. I have some googly eyes. I got several of those. And here's some sticker sheets. Or one sticker sheet. I mean, it's been pretty used. And here's another pattern piece. This is Trick or Treat from Echo Park. And this is black acetate. Anyway, it makes for a lot of fun things bats and witches what have you and here is some emerald green paper i have had for a while i think that would look good on halloween paper halloween cards here's another piece from the echo park collection as well some cut aparts and i'm going to be using my white 110 pound cardstock as well as black 110 pound cardstock and here are all the wonderful dies. This is that witch. And then I got some more. This is a new one from this year. And the cat and the bats came with the haunted house. And that's somewhere down here. And then this is from last year, the ghost. The cool mad pumpkin and you can paper piece that also oh and there's my spiders thank goodness i wondered where those were and some bats and spiders and then we have i just bought this from amazon a bunch of different washi tape all kinds of beautiful colors. Here, there, sorry about that. 
getting it in frame would help. There we are. And I have several of these, so I can just pass out to everybody. And this I got at Tuesday morning. I don't know if you can see it. It says spooky, but it's a Biggs die. Spells out S-P-O-O-K-Y. Very cool. And here is a spiderweb die. I, I found out that I had to put quite a bit more pressure on it to get it to cut all the way because sometimes I cut it out of vellum, which I think is kind of cool, but you have to really put a lot of pressure in the middle or else it's just a pain to try to <laughs> get everything out. And then this is new for this year. This is a spiderweb embossing holder. That'll be fun. Now the witch that I showed you earlier it came in the middle of this along with the cat and the bats. This makes a huge moon. This is four inches. And so I'm gonna be doing that with the card and you'll see that later. And then here's some pattern paper. I also got this on Amazon, really cute really cute papers. Make a great background. I have my purple piece that I just bought and I showed you recently and I'm going to bring some enamel dots and and of course my my stamp uh, box it's going to be a lot of fun and I will be putting everything in this wonderful little roll-on bag that was gifted to me from the saint lady that started me with my card crafting. Tell me what one of the supplies here that you like the most. Put it down in the comment section. I'd love to hear you. Bye-bye.